All right, today I'm gonna to show a video of what to do with your coins after you go out metal detecting. Um, seems like it's always a problem for me. Try to go and uh, turn your coins in at the Coinstar. A lot of the coins are way too corroded. They look bad, they don't go through the coin machines. It's always been a problem to try to actually go out and clean your coins. Found a really good way to do it. I'm gonna use my tumbler. Uh, we're gonna figure it out together here and I'm gonna walk you through all the steps. All right, so here's the components of what we're going to be using. First off, I got my, there's some pretty good coins in there, but the majority of them are so crusted over, can't uh, put them through. So I figured I'd put some good ones in there with some bad ones. I mean, it's a pretty good load. I mean, there's, there's a lot of coins in there. Don't have any dollars worth, but I'll count it after we get them all cleaned up. A lot of those I couldn't even tell what they were um, as far as years or any mint marks or anything like that. So just a standard tumbler. Um, I went to the store, you saw me get some of this aquarium gravel, just cheap $3 stuff. A little glass of water, and we're gonna mix it all together in there, and we will see what we get. All right, so here is the tumbler tub. I'm gonna add some of the gravel in there, about half the bag. Probably don't, it's not necessary to mix it like this, but I'm going to mix it. So there's half a bag in there. I'm gonna dump all this in there. on top. There go. Empty bag. Tumbler. Add in some water. Just to make it a little moist in there. Cap it off here. As soon as I cap it and put it all together, I'll show you it on the tumbler and we'll work from there. All right, so we got the tight, top tightened down. Put this on here. Get it all lined up. All right, plug it in. See if it works. All right, so I tumbled it for an hour. Let's see if it was enough. Look at some of these coins in here. Still crusty. It hasn't. Cleaned, hasn't cleaned the grime off of it in one hour, so we're gonna put them back in. And we'll give it two and a half to three hours, and then I'll come back and check in. All right, it's starting to get a little dark, so I brought it outside here. Let's see if we can see down inside that. Got a few of these. And as you can see, that was a really corroded looking one right there. Every one of these, the majority of the corrosion is now gone. It does wear them a little bit. As you can see around the edges, you can see that it's worn on the edges more than the middles. And there still is some corrosion on some of these in here. This is after three hours. Three hours, I would say those are good enough to actually pass through a machine. There's enough corrosion taken off of those. Yeah, they're all looking really nice. I would say that they are good enough after three hours. That was a highly corroded dime. And it's a very smooth texture. Color's not the greatest, but the texture's good enough that it would pass through one of the machines. So I would say three hours for this batch is good enough to take all the corrosion off. Hopefully this was a good instructional video and it'll help some people out because I know I struggle. Well, that's the video. Uh, hopefully this will help some people out. Hopefully it makes it a little bit easier when you go out metal detecting to find some of that clad stuff you want to get uh, turned into uh, Coinstar or any of those places. Uh, I think it cleaned it up really nice and it's actually usable now. Thanks for watching.